Hello, I'm Dick Sander, K5QY. I'm the news editor of the North Texas Contest Club uh, newsletter. At this time I'd like to take you on a tour and give you a brief description of my station and some of the operating tricks that I use during contest. The first is I enjoy two forms of contesting. I like to operate with in a multi-operator single transmitter mode which is generally the way uh, we operate from K5QY and I like to operate by myself using a computer. My claim to fame uh, for computers is sweepstakes. I operate it real time and uh, uh, do all my duping and logging during the contest and I find that it doesn't slow me down very much. It, it, uh, as a matter of fact, I think it's competitive. The reason is sweepstakes is a CQ type contest. We've been successful in uh, contesting as a uh, multi-single, multi-operator single transmitter uh, uh, station. Some of the certificates that I've won as a multi-single uh, station is the 1982 uh, Worldwide DX Contest, the fifth call area. We've placed in the uh, IARU uh, Radio Sport Contest for two years in the top ten. Uh, in the ARRL DX contest, we've consistently won North Texas. My best achievement in contesting is sweepstakes. I won the North Texas sweepstakes contest in 1982, and there are some pretty big guns in North Texas, so it's quite an accomplishment. Let me show you my station. I use an Apple II computer and uh, my transceiver is a Collins KWM380. My amplifier is a Collins 30S1. By the way, this amplifier is about 17 years old. I have two towers. The taller, a 100-foot Rome 45, supports a 2-element 40-meter beam and a 5-element 20-meter beam. At 45 feet is a rotatable tri-band beam. The second tower, a 70-foot Rhone 25 foldover, supports a 5-element 10-meter beam and a homebrew 5-element 15-meter beam. I use two high-gain high towers for 80 meters. The ground system under these two verticals is over 3,000 feet of wire. For uh, control of these two antennas, I use an ESI steering combiner. For 160 meters during the winter, I hang a a sloper antenna from the taller tower and I use a Clipperton L amplifier to drive it. My trick for sweepstakes and other contests is a power splitter designed by Tom McDermott N5EG and a little operating console that I built. I'll make a quick demonstration of it for when I run, during the time that I run two trans transceivers I can feed both amplifiers and I have another transceiver, I can select either one and mute the one that I'm on and I don't have to worry about blocking if I'm on the same band. I can strap it in the back so both of them will work simultaneously and still key either A or B with just a flip of the switch instead of reaching for another key or another mic. Also on this thing, I feed my audio into the one mic with a compressor and it has a line that comes off and it goes down to my transceiver or another transceiver if it's hooked up. The power splitter that I described allows me to flip it from antenna 1 or both antenna 1 and 2 or antenna 2, either one. This power splitter is broadband and I play it against my tribander on the tall tower and the other antennas is either the, a monoband 10, 15, or 20 and that allows me to transmit either to the east coast or west coast uh, simultaneously or independently without bumping any tuning of my amplifier. It's a, a quite good device. Slicky contest, slicky contest, slicky contest. November 5, America United. Nancy 5, America United. November 5, America United. Business Radio, Germany 8, Alpha Rook United. Uh, 
RGA stroke you. Oh man, isn't that a piece of coax? Well, yes, my dear friend. But would I feed you a line? Oh, come on, fella, give me a break. Cures and contests from November 5, America United, N5AU, real DX only, over, over. Now, uh, BY1PK, I'm sorry, old boy, you're a Duke Cure Z from November 5, America.